When I did a video on Undertale fandom music, there were a whole bunch of comments that were like, maybe you should have listened to the soundtrack first. And I read those and I thought, you know what? You got a point. How am I gonna know so many of the soundtrack references that are in these fandom songs if I haven't heard the soundtrack? Now I've played a little bit of Undertale, but I've not really gotten very far. So I've never ended up doing a second part of Undertale fandom songs because I thought I should do this video first. Videos like this are what make me feel so damn out of touch because who in 2022 hasn't hasn't heard these this guy right here what was that i didn't even know all I know is that I'm ashamed. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I have a Patreon. You can get all kinds of cool perks over there, including an uncut reaction once per week. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the link will be in the description below. I just already feel like this first one is gonna hit me with, I don't know, like a nostalgia, even though I haven't really played the game. It's called Home and it's OST 012. Super curious about what kind of sound we're gonna get. Is it just gonna be 8-bit music or something? Okay. I can safely say I wasn't expecting guitar. Man, I guess I really didn't pay attention at all to the soundtrack when I played. Makes me feel bad. Oh. The shift to like some minor notes and then slowing it down, that, that really does hit. <laughs> why, why do I feel like I could hear Wilbur Soot singing over this? <laughs> Yeah, it, it does have that nostalgic feel. But what's really interesting is that it, I don't know how to say it other than like, I guess a, a soured feel. Like maybe while the nostalgia's there, I mean, it's not quite as good as you remember, you know? And they're doing that by hitting those notes that change things up a little and sound a little bit darker. Oh. They introduced a second guitar? That is so pretty. Why is something so simple so nice? I just got a shiver. Wow. I think the plucking style also really factors into this. It feels very relaxed, but somehow still intimate. I feel like I'm somewhere familiar. The way they ship them and ride those notes, oh my god. I... I just sat here and rem... I just sat here and re I just sat here and remembered this is like just two guitars playing. It's so simple, but so effective. Notes are so warm. That was so much more engaging and so much nicer than it had like any right to be. Oh my God. It was just a simple composition of two guitars playing lovely notes layered in such a great way with a really interesting texture to the sound. How did that just blend so, oh, I'm already so here for it. Also, I'm pretty glad that we got something with like acoustic instruments. I guess I was just expecting very synthy, very 8-bit style stuff. And now I feel like we might be getting hit with a variety. So I hope you all understand Understand that I am now even more pumped for the next ones. We're just gonna jump right into the next one, which I had to include on this because, you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> it's number 71, Undertale. Again, I'm very into the acoustic guitar here. And I love when songs, especially just instrumental ones, really know how to layer their instruments properly because they're working together really, really nicely. And even though they're overlapping, they're not like conflicting each other or really competing for retention. They just meld. All right. Very much here for an 8-bit synth that adds something to this beat. I actually like that that bass is just a consistent one note. I imagine it'll shift at some point, but it really plays into this simple construction. 
Oh, there you go. It just shifted. <laughs> Yeah, and the piano as well is adding so much but doing so little. I, I could just feel my face drop for a second there as I got so enveloped into this. Oh, I just realized I do recognize that melody. I really, really like that melody. But here's what I'm curious about. We are a minute and a quarter into this. Where are they gonna go? Cause this is like six and a half minutes. I'm really curious how they're gonna mix this up and keep it fresh over this time. And if we're gonna get a couple changes. Are there more instruments that are gonna get layered in? What would they add? Oh dude, if they add strings, I would just die. They added strings! Oh my god! That is so pretty. That is ridiculously pretty. Please, this is, this is... And the little runs on the notes? Why is this so beautiful? Wow, that's a cool addition. Give me like a big hitty bass kick. This is honestly unreal. The combination of everything and now even the strings are getting more drawn out. Their notes are lasting longer. I was ready for a drop, we got flute. Where is this gonna go? Dude. I can't remember the last time flute gave me shivers. Do you see my face right now? Did you, did you see what I was, did you see how my jaw was? <laughs> God, I am living. Everything coming in at the same time. Guys, seriously. Why is this making me emotional? I'm legitimately getting emotional from this. The evolution of the drums too, they've got this marching band sound going that really helps push everything forward. It makes everything have this faster pace. There was a, a real chance for a hot second there that I was gonna cry. And I can't, I can't even tell if it's a happy or sad cry. It's just, it's a lot of emotions for some reason. <sighs> Look, 
Here is one fascinating thing about this to me. I've heard plenty of songs that I love, that I think are really well done, and that I've complimented to like no end. But I genuinely think it's a bit rare for me to just say, this is pretty. I've talked a lot about the composition, but I just, it's pretty. And I don't know what that means. What does that mean when it comes to the sound is pretty? <laughs> I'm losing my mind because of this guy. How are they going to end this though? I don't even know. Did, did, did you change the key on me? Is that what just happened? What the hell guys? I don't remember the last time I've been this just shook. What did I just listen to? What on earth did I just listen to? Let me tell you, I certainly did not expect to be freaking out while recording this video, so... Good job, Undertale. Honestly, do I need to say anything else? Should I even say anything else? I don't know, I've got... I... Ridiculously good. I'm ready to move on to the next one. Number 36, Dummy. <laughs> what a change. I, I, need a, I need a second to just... Shift gears. This is a bit more the sound I was expecting. Oh, that's that's filthy. That's so filthy. I like that. Someone could remix someone could remix the heck out of this and I'd be dancing up in a club to it. Oh, it's like, it's like swing. Oh my God, electro swing. What? There is also so many layers going on here. It's overwhelming. Why is this such a damn bop? And it's so fast paced, I'm sitting here bouncing. Oh, nice little change up. It's almost like they've got a call and response thing going on between different synths. Man, this is extremely erratic. I'm assuming that's the point, but it's all over the place and I love it. Oh my gosh. The way the drums are being used is awesome. In the two songs that have had drums, they have used them so effectively, it's awesome. Love that hi-hat so much. That, what? Why is this making me so happy? I've just got this big stupid grin on my face. <laughs> oh. oh my god, the like runs on the little, like the the runs on the higher set. Oh. Still, uh, again, unreasonable how how boppy this is. <laughs> a great change to close it out. Or are they looping again? 
Bro, that was also just so good. I think at one point before I said that I was excited to see what variety we'd get and I have not been disappointed. We've had a very simple acoustic song, a more complex acoustic song that made me feel a lot of things. And then like an 8-bit synthy electro swing song. Ah, it's- I didn't expect this level of like what masterful composition. This one has a ridiculous amount of views and I think it's one of the most popular, if not the most popular. It's called Megalovania. Man, the drop down is dope. Fucking god, dude. This should not be as hype as it is. That's amazing! That, not even remotely was that where I was expecting it to go. Oh my god, are we getting a, like a solo? Come on! These can't all hit so well, right? That's a- that's awesome! I- I- I can't- I can't continue- oh my god. Wow. This has got to be like a boss fight theme or something, right? It's crazy. I absolutely love that bass. That that little riff. I'm going to be washing dishes and I'll be singing that for sure. Oh my god. That's like distorted electric guitar to give that metal sound to it. This feels so thrashy. Why is it so thrashy? Dude, the way it's layering back in too. And they're taking it away. It's gonna hit again. I thought it was gonna hit there. Oh my god, they're teasing. Oh, they're building it back in. I just expected it to smash me in the face. There it is. This isn't exactly the vibe you'd expect from a game like Undertale. I don't know, it just feels so out of left field. But also it feels like it works. <laughs> I appreciate the mix up of the melody. I wonder if we're gonna get hit with a key change in this one too. It kind of feels like they could do it. I, c I can't even overstate how much I'm just vibing right now. Oh, dude. The way it all sounds together when it rises like that. It's not quite halftime here, but it kind of sounds like it and it's... It gives an interesting change.
I'm ex I'm expecting them to cut everything out and then bring it back in. I like that. All of those instruments are working to hit the aesthetic of this so nicely. <laughs> Undertale, the heavy rock version. I legitimately think that I had a smile on my face throughout the entirety of that song. I didn't think I'd have my face blown off this video. And yet, here we are. When that first hit with everything coming in, I could feel my face melt. And it's just one of those things because I didn't know what to expect. All I know is that I wasn't expecting that. What's this next one gonna be? Is it gonna be like some 50s doo-wop borderline barbershop quartet sound? I mean... I wouldn't complain. <laughs> We're gonna end this video with one called Number 87, Hopes and Dreams. I do feel like this is gonna be like, sad. <laughs> or uplifting, maybe? Is this using a similar melody to Undertale? I think it might be. Okay, anime intro! It's like a reprise of the Undertale theme. Still wasn't thinking I'd be getting electric guitar, but I'm so happy for it. Oh, that's a great halftime. That is an awesome halftime. Ah, oh, absolutely amazing the way they play with rhythm. This really is like a, it's uplifting. I feel like I could go conquer the world. Oh, that's a like nice little light addition. That, that really helps fill out the sound, because it was getting kind of bass heavy. So having that light, airy sound is a great way to equal that out. I love- I, I love that melody so much. It's hitting so nicely. I wasn't- I didn't see the guitar coming back in there. I thought that they were going to continue with the synth. Actually, all of those together would sound really good. I think that's what they're building towards. How does this keep surprising me? Ah. Oh. The lower notes, I like that a lot. Again, this is just making me happy. I, I can't even explain it. I'm, I'm just here for the ride, y'all. Oh. Oh, is there? There's a, like a bass guitar under there. I didn't even notice that. Was that there this whole time? Ugh. Ending with that held guitar note is a nice decision. Oh my God. Honestly, I, I feel like a changed man. I have come out the other side of this journey revolutionized and different. Every single track was so good. That was all fantastically done. I am absolutely blown away and like huge props to all the people who composed those. I will say that I think my favorite is still just Undertale. It just genuinely filled me with all kinds of different emotions. And I know, I know that it makes me a bit of a basic bitch, but when have I not been? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed 
enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.